Hello everyone and welcome to what is essentially Monster Hunter meets Breath of the Wild. Have I uh <laughs> have I got it? Have I pretty much gotten it? I um I've gone through the intro just to see how long it is and whether it is worth uh putting in the video and it is quite long so I'm just going to give a quick recap. This um by the way, may as well be Majora's Mask or uh, Dark Souls 2 because it's essentially um, this this kid, this guy, he travels through a whole bunch of um, lands to find this part of the world, a set from every other, across a long bridge to... Um, <clears throat> See, this is kind of what I don't get about this, because you have to take this bridge to the land where all these monsters are supposed to be. Can't you just, like, go there normally, or is it all set on a cliff or whatever? Like like kind of like an island cliff uh anyways um basically he is he's taking his girlfriend or sister or whatever to to this temple so that she can be revived because something happened to her i don't know and this collective consciousness these gods are telling him that, you know, as a test of faith or whatever, he has to kill all 16 of the monsters in the land to... Because <clears throat> there's some sort of magic etched in all of them. And, uh gaining their life essence will bring her back but honestly I don't know if they're just testing him you know like um okay I did figure out how to do this before I have the power the <sighs> okay the power here we go <laughs> there now the joke lands um, nice jumping. It's very floaty. It's almost like I can fly. <coughs> okay, how do I get on? All right, nice. Now, are the, uh, oh, that's right. I remember this. Uh, okay, cool. I remember way long ago when I tried to do this that, um, ah, that <clears throat> it was kind of hard to control the horse, but then again, isn't that the case in every game with horses? Like, they can never really figure them out right. They kind of, uh, wait, there is a map? Wait, I didn't. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing before. Is that new to the, um, to the remastered version? Or, uh, okay. That's very cool, because I thought this was just a basic, like, like, I don't even remember there being a story, first of all. So, uh, okay. So, wait, there's yellows, blue... <sighs> That's the problem with this, is that... No, stop, please. I need to use the sunlight to be able to figure out where to go. <clears throat> and I wish that it could just, like, work forever. Alright, what is this now? I also kind of find it weird, like, <clears throat> um, 
I'm sure you saw enough of the intro that, um... That you were able to notice what I did in the sense that, um... When he went into the temple... <clears throat> when he went into the temple... It, uh... And then he got off of the horse, it kind of changed, like, how big everything was, and it made it a whole lot bigger than what it initially was, I think. So, like, what exactly am I supposed to grab onto? This is what I've never been able to... to I've got a... <sighs> Usually, I put my, um... <clears throat> my brightness all the way down, because, um you know, contrast, and it makes everything look a lot better, but, uh, <clears throat> now that I am actually playing in the daylight, this is, okay, makes everything look kinda terrible and dusty when you make everything bright, but who cares? Is there, is this just a lost cause? I don't know, no, no? Oh, yeah, and just like with, uh, Dark Souls Circle, you can dodge roll with, so... Um... I got up here. I don't... See... <clears throat> I... Yeah, I should have tested this before because um I think I remember having issues with this the first time that I played too that um that like I couldn't even find the first Colossus <clears throat> the first time that I played and then I turned off the game Though, to be fair, that was, uh, when I was a kid. Um, and it's one of those things where the, the solution seems obvious after you find it. Though, like, right now... Or do I need to jump and... I thought I could jump off the horse. Can I... Can I, like, break a wall or something? <clears throat> it said R2 to grab on, but it's not being very... It's not being very grabby. I can't believe that I would need a guide right now. <clears throat> what if I just, like, jump up this rubble and get lucky? Is that, like, possible? Okay. Here I wanted to prove to people that I could be smart today. Okay, so can I, like, dig my fingernails into that and climb up or something? I don't know exactly what it wants from me. I mean, <clears throat> I'm willing to figure it out. That was always the problem with, um, <clears throat> with this and with Ico the puzzle aspect of the games were too puzzly. I don't even think I got past, like, the second part of the barn in Ico, and that's, um, <clears throat> that's, like, right at the beginning. See, like, why do they even bother having these ridges on these pillars if I can't, like, use them to, 
Like, if it was myself in in real life, I'd be able to put the tip of my foot on on this that I'm looking at right now and and be able to hoist myself up. Like, this is pathetic. I mean, then again, this does come from, uh, from a, uh, PS2 game, but still, though, like, there's only a set level of patience that I think I'm allowed per day. Um, is that... I mean, that'd be kind of stupid to think that I could climb up this, right? Or can I? <clears throat> Wait, though. Yeah, I think it, uh, if I'm having this much trouble in the, uh... I mean, I know it's open world, but technically this is, like, the tutorial. Think about how much trouble I'm going to have in the, uh, when I'm actually dealing with monsters. Well, I guess if I fail, this is the time when I can test, uh, fall damage. Okay, so what, do I just like not get it? Or uh I always kinda find that interesting. Um Yeah, that's one of the things that you need to figure out first in games is fall damage. And when you don't get it, I always find it uh like I know that in Monster Hunter you have this like demigod kind of, uh, strength, where, uh, which sort of explains why you're able to go up against the monsters and not just straight up die, but, uh, I, I don't know, they never really explain it for the other ones, um, I'm losing my brain power by the second. Like, can I... Do I actually have to look up a guide? <laughs> do I actually have to look up a guide to figure out how to get up this? This is pathetic. Like, what am I even gonna call this first episode? A jumping tutorial? I don't... Okay, are there any other uh, colossuses that I can that I can just like mess around with in the open world? Because I think uh, it just shows me the closest one. I don't even know if it shows them to me in order, but like, like I'm not getting. Wait, is that... Because I'm kind of thinking like Assassin's Creed 3 where you could like dig your hands into the cliffs and kind of... Mm. Like, fine. Uh... <clears throat> If, uh, it's gonna be stubborn like that, then I'll just talk about whatever else. In, in my previous life, I was a traffic cone. Haha, <laughs> humor, right? Let's go explore the world. Since the world is just giving me all sorts of troubles. What, it keeps, like... It keeps slowing down even though I keep trying to speed up, so what, am I just, like, not allowed through here? Oh no, is something scary gonna jump out at me? I hope so. So that I can do something, anything. 
And that's that's the problem with horse mechanics in games too, is that they always seem wary, like like they don't want to go anywhere. If I could figure out how to how to run myself <clears throat> just as a character, then I wouldn't need my horse because the horse just stops. Um whenever you get too close to anything and uh it's almost like like how uh how you can hit invisible walls it's like horses sense invisible walls and they just like don't want to go anywhere they're useless well this looks very interesting what uh I know this is like farther out of my reach than um than I'm supposed to go right now, but you know who cares? Uh somebody else. <laughs> Definitely. If like I can't climb the cliffs that I'm supposed to climb. And I've seen the first monster I've dealt with up until the uh bird one, like way back when. Um but like uh like the first one is just a tutorial where you you climb halfway up its back and you can stand on a platform and that makes everything like easy pretty much oh yeah now you want to show up okay at the very least I can explore and see like what uh what the edge of this land is supposed to be like because um I still don't understand why all the uh the special entrances to get into here like it's like it's something different I need Fine then, you stupid horse. I don't care. You don't want to take me where I want to go, then, 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 why do I have you? Okay. Oh, it won't. Oh, it will. It totally will. A hundred points. I did it. I beat the game. <laughs> I beat the game. I ex I escaped this nightmare. 